I'm able to do whatever I want when I'm 15 years old. You could easily be the same. A year ago, I was doing pretty much every bad habit imaginable, besides heroin. I was quite a loser, not doing anything really to benefit my life, but because I did these things, I was able to do a complete 180 with my life, and I'm able to do everything that I would have wanted to do right now when I'm 15. I would not imagine doing any of these things when I am 15. 14 year old me doesn't imagine me being where I am right now. If you listen to this video, we can be better than everyone else. Still not, still doing bad habits when in their 20s, 30s, still playing video games, eating junk food, whatever, whatever. We can actually be better than all of them. And we have the potential to because I know if you're watching videos like this, you care about yourself. You care about having beneficial videos and learning something. So just jump, just jump straight into it. The first thing I did to quit all bad habits is surround myself with good people. Not even people who I talk to, but people that I watch on YouTube. When you watch people like Hamza, Andrew Tate, you surround yourself with those people and you start to be more like them. You start to realize they meditate, they work out, they work on their finances, whatever. Whatever the deal is, you start to be more like them and you start to imitate the things that they do. If you, if you are around people who do drugs, heroin, video games, drink every day, you're probably going to do that more likely. I was able to surround myself with people that I wanted to be like and looked up to and I was able to learn from them. I was able to learn from them and grow so much more faster than if I was being around people who played video games all day and were like, yeah, it's fine to play some video games. Yeah, watch me play some video games right now. Hey, do you want to hop on a call? Let's go. Instead of being like that, I was able to watch people that are like, yeah, do this to be more successful. Do this, work out, go to the gym, go outside, improve your life do this do that and I was able to do so much more in my life and I was able to realize oh yeah these guys don't do these bad habits because it made their life like this and this and because they don't do it look how their life is now Hamza is able to do this Iman's able to do this Andrew Tate's able to do all of this you're able to do so much more when you surround yourself with the good people the second way I quit bad habits was I knew it would take some time I knew I couldn't immediately quit video games relapsing eating junk food I knew I had to build myself up a little bit. I knew if I kept trying to stop these bad habits, tried to do more good habits and benefit my life, I knew I would eventually break off from those bad habits. I didn't immediately stop when I uh, relapsed again. Nope, it's done. I'm one mindset that helped me was to predict where my future would be. I would add up the small wins that I have in my life with bad habits and good habits and subtract the times I've relapsed, played video games, and I would have more W's for not doing bad habits. So I, in a long enough time frame, I realized that if I just kept doing this curve and kept breaking off from those bad habits, even if I did it, if I, if I still did it, but it was less and less every time, I was, I'm able to eventually break off those bad habits. I'm eventually able to quit video games, stop, don't relapse, don't eat junk food, you will get to a point eventually where it is easy to quit bad habits and especially if you do the other things that I'm about to talk about like the third thing the third thing I did to quit bad habits is I spent my time doing things I spent my time playing sports I spent my time talking to you right now I spent my time doing things that would actually develop myself because when I was still in the stage of self-improvement and still doing bad habits I spent some of that time also doing self-improvement stuff. Doing all those things ha made me have less time to do bad habits and less time I was feeling bored. When I stopped being as bored, I would stop doing as much bad habits. Fourth thing I did to stop doing any bad habit was to think about my future self. Think about how my future self is gonna be like when I'm scrolling on social media all day on a Saturday, s playing video games one hour a day, eating some junk food, doing this thing, relapsing. Just think about my future self. Is my future self gonna be happy that I'm doing those things? Or is it gonna be happy that I'm trying to develop myself? 
Or is it going to be happy that I'm quitting bad habits? Is it going to be happy that I'm developing myself every day? The fifth way I quit all my bad habits at 15 was I used my age as an advantage. I used the fact that I'm only 15 and I'm doing all these things. I used that to push myself more and break ahead from all those people who are still doing bad habits when they're in their 20s. Like also self-improvement people when they're only 20 and 18. I'm pushing myself to do more because I'm only 15 and everyone else is like 18, 20, 17, 30. I'm 15 years old and I'm not using that as an excuse. I'm not using that. Oh yeah, I'm only 15 and everyone else does it, does, stops playing video games when they're in their 20s. So I'm just going to play video games for another four years and waste my potential. I realize what I can be doing to grow myself so much in all the other years of my life. And the fact that I'm only 15 motivates me to do so much more things. Because imagine where I'm going to be in four years. I'm not trying to brag. I'm not trying to say that I'm better than anyone. But seriously, imagine the things I'm doing right now when I'm 15. So many people use that as an excuse to do this and that. And they're like oh yeah when I was 15 I was just playing video games doing nothing and I'm out here helping you right now trying to give you value while everyone else is still playing video games when they're 15 still playing it when they're 20 when they're 30 still doing some bad habits and I'm thinking about my future self making every day count to benefit myself for the future so I can have an amazing life and live the life I genuinely want to live and the life that we can live. I'm only 15. Once again, I'm not trying to brag, but seriously, it's just insane. I'm 15. Everyone's like, oh, you're only 15? Wow, you're so wise, whatever, whatever. Seriously, I'm only 15. I'm not, I, once again, bro, I'm not trying to brag. I hope this doesn't sound like I'm being some crazy egotistical person but like I'm not using it as an excuse I'm using it to push myself more to do more things because I know I have an advantage over other people and that I have I'm winning technically by age wise the sixth thing that I did to quit all bad habits was when I started to quit more bad habits do less of it I realized how better my life was when I didn't play video games, when I didn't scroll on social media, when I actually went outside, played sports, worked out, made videos for you. I realized how better my life was when I did that. So when I did half and half, it was like a lot easier to get over that last half instead of when I was doing it the whole time, I wasn't aware of how beneficial all of the good stuff was. When I did the good stuff, it boom instantly, like boom instantly. I don't know how to describe it, but it was like, why would I go back to doing those bad habits and all those bad things when I'm having such a good life right now, when I'm doing good things, when I'm doing good things that all of them can't do. They make excuses for not doing it. They say, oh no, I'm too young to do it. Oh, well, I'm 20. I could wait till I'm 30. Oh, 30, whatever. I can just live like this. It's too late to change. Like, why would I go back? I guarantee if you apply these things that made me quit bad habits at 15, don't have the ego to think, oh, he's only 15, so I shouldn't listen to this. Try it one day, see if it works. If it doesn't work, all right, I'm wrong, sorry, dislike this video, whatever you want. But this helped me so much, and I needed to hear a video like this a, a year ago when I was 14 years old, playing video games, bad habits, not knowing how to quit bad habits, and not knowing what to do with my life. So, yeah, we have the potential to be better than all of those people. Like I've said multiple times, continue improving your life. You will get better and we can break off than compared. I don't even know what I'm saying, but we, we will we'll be better than them. If you found this video at least somewhat helpful or interesting, you might have found a good channel for you. Click and watch this video right here. It's a pretty good one, I promise. Subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be trying to help you every single day. I'm going to be posting more beneficial videos to help you every single day. So like this video if you liked it. I'll see you later. Take care. I quit all these bad habits, social media, video games, junk food, relapsing, pretty much any bad habit, really. Not trying to brag, but seriously, I think you can do it too. If I did, you can. Peace.